Hey there, Frank, with some TriCaster tips. Now here's a question that I get asked a lot. How do I import media? Now what you need to do is collect your media on a thumb drive and you plug it into the back of your TriCaster and um, it could be uh, stills or videos. And uh, so I already did that. So now I'm going to show you how to import it into your TriCaster. What you got to do is, once it's in there, is you're going to go up to the File tab up here. And you're going to click on File, and you will see it will open up. It'll say Import Media. You click on that, and now the Import Bin opens up. So you can see it's blank at this point. So you go down to the Add button, click on Add, and now this browser pops up. And you can see it says Media Browser, there's Clips stills and down here there's audio now these are the, this is what's already in your TriCaster what we're going to do is we're going to import your media into the D drive of the TriCaster and that's the drive that uh, uh, contains all your media so we go down here where it says browse I click on browse find your little thumb drive so mine uh, here is called graphics I'm going to click on it graphics and then here's my thumb drive so I have still pictures, and it says JPEGs. There's some motion JPEGs. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import some pictures. So first, I'm going to say, well, I want a beach shot. And then by holding down the Control key, I can select another picture. I'm going to say, OK, I want spring one. And then I'm going to say open and it's going to bring it into the import bin it'll show you a little thumbnail of what it is it'll say it's a still and it'll give you the name of the file but I also want to import a video so I'm going to go back to add and I'm going to go to my browse back to my thumb drive and I have some uh, motion graphics here I'm going to click on and uh, these are videos so I'm going to click and I'm going to pick a couple here's one that's your liberty here's some seagulls at the beach I'll pick that one and I'm going to say open so now I've collected my media and you could see it all shows up in the import bin with the little thumbnail and what it is they even show you the duration of the video so these are the short little videos I have okay so now I'm going to pick now down here I have a choice that says fast import or import you want to do import because you want the video, uh, uh, the media converted to the proper uh, file format so that it'll play in the TriCaster. So I'm going to put import and then when I do that you'll see it'll start to import the media that I put in there. If it needs to be converted, uh, the file type needs to be converted, it'll automatically convert it for you so it is, so it will play in the TriCaster. So there you go, it's all done, I go close. Now that I imported the media into the D drive, I'm gonna go and retrieve it so we can actually use it. So I'm gonna go, I click on the tab, Graphics 1 is open, that's where I'm gonna import my stills. And I'm gonna to go to plus down here, the plus sign, and it'll say either you go to your, where your, ses your session, which is it's called TriCaster Training Videos, I went to my session, and there's my still pictures. So, okay, I'm gonna pick on, uh, I'm gonna click one, I'm gonna just choose one, say okay. Now it'll appear in the uh, little bin down here for the graphics one bin. So if I went to graphics one here, it would show up. So if I went and took it, there's my graphics one, and back. Now, you may have noticed when I clicked on that, it said stills, titles, transitions, but it does not say clips because you can't import clips into the graphics tab one or two. It has to either be the DDR1 or the DDR2. Okay, so now I'm gonna ready to retrieve my video, which I clicked on the DDR1, and I go down to our plus, there it is, and you'll see that there's, now it says clips, okay? It didn't before because, you, because clips can only be imported in the DDR, which stands for Digital Disc Recorder Slash Player. So I'm gonna choose one of my videos, I'm gonna choose the seagull, I go okay, 
and now it, it appears in my bin. Now, also I want you to notice this video is only 12 seconds long, so if I'm going to play it, it's going to play 12 seconds and it's going to stop. So I'm going to put on loop down here, that's this little arrow that goes in a circle. So that's going to loop it, so that means when it's done 12 seconds, I want it to start over again. So I also want you to notice here, and I'll probably talk about this in another video, but click autoplay, which means when I make this transition, and I'm going to show you, when I make this transition, boom, it automatically plays. So there's my little video that I imported, it's playing, and down here it's on a loop, so when it's over, it starts over again. And I'm just going to stop it so we know that we got that. So that's how you do it. That's how you import your media for your production. So the stills and video. All right, stay tuned for more tips.